Well, Emmaus High School didn't make it to the state championships this year, but we assure you they have a winning team. Just ask their lunch buddies. WFMZ's Joy Howe goes off the gridiron. When head football coach Harold Fairclough first came to Emmaus High School last year, he brought with him an impressive winning record and a new community service requirement. Try to make a positive impact on not only on the football field, but within the school community. There were definitely kids, like, as you know, us three, that were excited about it, and there were other kids that were not so excited about it. A couple months into the season, an opportunity that got presented to me was a Special Olympics event. The coach had his players put on a football workshop for Special Olympics competitors. To watch them pick it up and struggle with some things, and then we taught them to watch them learn, it was great. Once we got over that initial hump, it was more, okay, hey, this is fun, like we can do this. It was about two hours, but my face was like hurting because I was smiling so much. I got home, I'm like just racking my brain trying to figure out what we could do, what else could we do. What they did was come up with the Lunch Buddy program. Every Friday, every player eats lunch with a classmate with special needs. Just grab a lunch. Senior Dylan Schumann's lunch buddy is Olivia Neely. Dylan is a great guy. We assure you, the feeling's mutual. When Olivia expressed she was a little nervous about us being there, oh, my her friend Dylan calmed her down. That you're amazing and pretty and funny and just be yourself, okay? Everywhere we turned in this cafeteria, there were moments like that one. Laughs shared. Smiles exchanged. Mutual gratitude. When I go down there, I just forget about everything. And I feel so humble. And they see each other in the hallways and they're high-fiving in the hallways. What was mandatory became volunteer, but was once a week. I sit with her every day. I love Olivia. She, uh, she has a special spot in my heart. What was just a piece of football is now a piece of these players' future. I want to help with special education. Special education after college. I always take away something and it amazes me every time. It's awesome. The players say they know this partnership isn't everywhere, but they think it could be. They think it should be. And some of those kids sit alone and just, they look up to some of us. Now, they can also look across at them. Coach Fairclough's original idea was for this team to help their classmates with special needs. He says in the end, it's his players who feel special. I love you so much. You made me smile a lot. I love you too. Come here. Reporting off the gridiron, Joy Howe, 69 News.